to another edition of Newsbeat. We're reaching you from our Abuja studios in Nigeria. I am Oluchi Madu. Our top stories for today. Senate confirms Jega as INEC boss. Deputy Governor of Bayelsa State impeached. And Akunini calls for ESCC to probe NTA. All these when we come back. yesterday confirmed the appointment of Professor Atahiru Jega as chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission. President Goodluck Jonathan nominated six others to serve as commissioners of INEC and they were also confirmed by the Senate after screening. So the nomination of Professor Atahiru Muhammad Jega is hereby confirmed as chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission. The six other nominees pledged to partner with the new chairman of the body to ensure the conduct of credible elections. Speaking when he faced the Senate during the screening yesterday, Professor Jega promised to conduct the freest, fairest and most credible elections ever in the history of the country come 2011. He also promised to check the menace of security agencies aiding rigging during elections. The Senate has, however, deferred action on the nomination of Mrs. Amina Bala Zakari from Jigawa State and Dr. Abdulkadir Suleiman Oniogi from Kwara State, as their CVs are yet to be sent to the Senate. The others are not supportable. That's all we have. So we do this, and then when they get the others, we can do Senate President David Ma congratulated the new INEC chairman and challenged the new electoral officials to ensure that the next general elections are free, fair, and credible. On behalf of all of us, congratulate the chairman and the national commissioners that we have confirmed today, and I will ask them repeated uh, in the course of the screening that they go strictly by the constitution and whatever the laws say. They need to be transparent, they need to be fair, and above all, they must ensure that they conduct a credible, free, and fair election in 2011. He also urged all Nigerians to work towards ensuring credible elections in 2011. Professor Dora Akunili, the Minister of Information and Communications, yesterday challenged the House of Representatives Committee on Information and National Orientation to probe the Nigerian Television Authority over an 8.2 billion naira contract. The contract was for the provision of outside broadcast vans meant for the use of the Nigerian Television Authority during the FIFA Under-17 World Cup, which Nigeria hosted in 2009. Akunili said the contract which the NCA awarded was based on the excuse that the existing OB vans were obsolete and not appropriate for the tournament. The minister stated that the probe was necessary due to insinuations across the country that she invented the contract to enrich herself. According to her, the probe will expose the truth and place the facts in proper perspective, thereby clearing her name in the court of public opinion. Spokesman of the House of Representatives, Eseme Eyibo, has addressed the development that what the Senate forwarded to the State Houses of Assembly was not the harmonized copy of the amended Constitution. He refuted claims that the leadership of the House of Representatives issued a directive to withdraw copies of the amended Constitution from the State Houses of Assembly. Eyibo, who said this at the press conference in Abuja, said the clerk of the House was asked to investigate the matter and report back to the House. He cannot direct the, the clerk to go and withdraw in circulation. I mean, it sounds very vague, you know. You and I know that that cannot work, you know. The House directed the clerk, he's there in our votes and proceedings, directed the clerk to get in touch with the CNA to ascertain the veracity of the concern. This, the subject matter was a concern raised by an individual. And it will be spec speculative for anybody to begin to say, okay, what that concern, it, 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 it bothered the, the individual. That was why he raised the concern. Abel also addressed the allegations that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, ESCC, had sent a letter to the National Assembly demanding copies of documents that will aid them in investigating the corruption charges against the leadership of the House. ESCC writing to the clerk. Is to mean that EFCC recognizes the existence of a bureaucracy here and that if there was a contract administration, anything pertaining to contract and whatever, 
it's no, it's not bank only. It's not the leadership of the house. It's, no, 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 no. I'm, we, are, we are heading in there. So they wrote a letter now requesting the bureaucracy of the National Assembly to oblige them. I'm quoting you now certain documents, which of course. Uh, in their own opinion, relate to certain contracts. I've not seen such document. I am uh, forbidding myself from the temptation of uh, uh, confirming what you are talking because, first and foremost, I'm not a member of the bureaucracy. You know, I'm not a member of the bureaucracy and I'm not aware of any letter written by EFCC requesting any document. I'm not aware of it. And if EFCC Indeed, has written a letter to the to the to the the clerk of the National Assembly requesting uh, opportunity to to do some investigations on any issue for that matter. I think they are acting within the bounds of uh, their statutory uh, 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 statutory functions. On the issue of the Senate President allegedly calling the House of Representatives irresponsible, Abel had this to say: "The use of the word, as quoted in the papers." As irresponsible, it must have been referring to that it would be irresponsible for anybody to have sent a report other than a harmonized copy. He may not have alluded to the position of the House. After much drama in the legislature and between the governor and deputy governor, Bayelsa State House of Assembly has finally ousted the deputy governor of the state, Mr. Perumu Boe, a baby on Thursday. His removal was said to have brought to a temporary end the crisis that had plagued the state since the House issued an impeachment notice to him on June 8, 2010. Top on the list of the allegations against the baby was that he abandoned his duty post, refused to attend meetings of the State Executive Council since February 2010, and that he disparaged the governor, Timipri Silva, in press interviews. The House also accused the baby of violating his oath of office through sponsored acts of terrorism with a view to making Bayelsa State ungovernable by recruiting gunmen who acquired and stored large quantities of explosives together with arms and ammunition at his hotel in Yenogwa, the state's capital. And that's it on Newsbits. My name is Oluchi Madu. Thanks for logging on.